All right, my name is Ryan. What's good, shoddy? Mm -mm -mm. So I'm a young buck, aspiring bodybuilder, you know? So as far as my vinyl collection goes, I mainly just listen to a rap, hip hop, R&B. Uh, that's a lot of it. Um, I'm sure that's most themes probably. But the difference is I'm goaded and my music taste is better than most themes, okay? so. Yeah, that's why I have an awesome vinyl collection that I'm going to show you today. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I want to start off with this one first. The Forever Story by Mr. J.I.D., who is my favorite artist ever. I found this album when I was in Algebra 2 last year, sitting down in class. And the first time I listened to it, I was like, it kind of sucks, actually. But then after re-listening to it multiple times, it's slowly become my favorite album ever. Um, and same thing with Jid as an artist. Uh, I think he's great lyricism, he's great production, he puts a lot of meaning into his songs, a lot of effort, and that's why I love him with all my heart. Jid, uh, I'm gonna meet you one day, so be ready to meet this guy. <sighs> Next, classic, typical, who doesn't have it, T-Pab. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, obviously one of the best artists to ever exist that walk the planet Earth. Arguably the best rapper of all time. Um, T-Pab, arguably the best rap album of all time and album of all time in general. I don't think this album has a bad song on it, like honestly. Um, my favorites, oh, I'll do the favorites for Forever Story as well. Every song, but for T-Pab, <clears throat> I would say Wesley's Theory is my favorite, not my favorite, but it's really good. King Kunta has been my favorite for a while, probably. Um, I don't really listen to Mama, Hood Politics, or You Ain't Gotta Lie that much, but pretty much every other song uh, is just like a regular bop. <clears throat> Get It Album. Funny, I'm recording this now, as Vultures came out today, and 20 years ago, this guy came out. This guy right here. So, Call Dropout by Kanye West, um, Get It Album, obviously. Favorite songs, Spaceship is probably my, my number one off this. All Falls Down is really goated. And then um, Never Let Me Down, The New Workout Plan, and uh, the one with Jay-Z on it, which I think is really good. And uh, those are this is a big like workout song playlist that I have. <clears throat> it's like a lot of the workout songs that are in my playlist I have off this album. And uh, yeah, not much to say. Uh, Kanye West, obviously goaded. Goated. Oh, and Through the Wire, obviously, is really good. Okay, Mr. Drizzy Drake himself, with Take Care. I think this is the deluxe one. Uh, yeah, this is deluxe. Um, Take Care, my favorite Drake album. Um, especially after his schlong got leaked. So it bumps it up 18 million kajillion points because it was humongous. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Anyways, really good, really good album. Uh, favorite songs, headlines, obviously a classic. Crew Love is pretty good. Marvin's Room, another classic. I mean, uh, We'll Be Fine is another one of my favorites. Make Me Proud, another really good one. Um, camera is really good, and then my favorite one off this is probably Practice. And Hell Yeah, Frickin' Right with Mr. Lil Wayne is also really good. So yeah, Jersey Drake, Get It Album. Next, Mr. Underground, not really underground at all, but he's still really goaded. Denzel Curry, My My Eyes See Your Future, really, really good album. Um, this was the first, this was my, similar to Jid, uh, I found this um, pr pretty much when it came out. Uh, there was a lot of buzz around it, especially by like Fantano and critics and stuff like that. So I decided to give it a listen and look where I am now. So really good album, uh, favorite songs. Um, Sandro is really good. Uh, Walkin' is obviously a, a goaded one. Worst Comes to Worst was in my like top five for Spotify rap, so obviously I like that one. Um, the last is good. Mental is really, really good. Uh, one of Denzel's best songs. 
in a way because i mean it's the guy like it's jim come on uh x-wing really really good small death like that and Zatochi and the ills are also very good songs so another goated album that i really like all right this is probably my most underground one yet you're not gonna get can you guess you no, no you there's no you're not gonna guess you're not gonna no you won't you louis kenny beats um i mainly got this one because well first of all i mean kenny beats one of the best rap hip-hop producers out right now um but really like last words is one of my favorite songs of all time if not my favorite song of all time um that was kind of the main reason i got this just really just listen to last words and i do have a record player but it is missing some pieces so but yeah um kenny beats really really good producer the other good songs hold my head is really good rotten is really good and pretty much every other song is decently decent good album so next let's start here lil yachty really good alternative rock whatever fantano called it album i do really i really like this album it's my favorite by lil yachty easily and i think he should have gotten i don't know if it got something for an award as far as a reward for the grammys but it definitely should have um favorite songs black seminoles good the ride is good running out of time is goaded pretty's goaded failure's good the zone is good. We saw the sun is good. Drive me crazy. Goated. I've officially lost vision. Good. Say something. Mm. Paint the sky. Goated. Should I be good? The alchemist. Goated. And reach the sunshine. Goated. Also, it was made in the Czech Republic. I just saw that. Oh. Huh. Weird. Anyways. Good album. Goated album. Matter of fact. Loyalty. Your best. Thank you for that. All right, next. Another one by the man himself, Kendrick. Probably, so there's a couple of takes I disagree with uh, as far as Mr. Melonhead, Anthony Frantano himself goes. Um, and Damn is definitely one of them. Uh, it's his like, it was the one that Frantano gave the worst score out of Kendrick albums. So he gave Damn a seven. Um, I mean, having multiple albums released and a seven being your worst one rated by Fantano is you already know this guy's pretty good but yeah I think it should have been at least an eight as far as freaking damn goes every song off here is really good but as far as my favorites um Duckworth is really good God I don't know I'll never understand the God hate God is a really really good song Element is good it was really good, yeah. I recently started listening to Loyalty with Rihanna more because it's a good song. And yeah, overall, album, pretty good. Tracklist, really good as well. Yeah, go it album. I should probably stop saying that, or whatever. Hey, anyway, we have uh, three more. Mr. Mr. Himself, Tyler the Creator, Call Me If You Get Lost. If You Get Lost is an album that is good as far as having the vinyl goes favorite songs um what's your name girlfriend what's your name <clears throat> uh yeah what's your name is a really good song juggernaut is really good uh d1 workout song juggernaut Ooh. uh what else what about the chill stuff um I can't think of any off the top of my head, but the one with 42 Doug is also another really good workout song that I love. Okay? I love it. So, Come If You Get Lost. Really good album. Okay, so two more. Um, next up, the man himself, Lord Pretty Flocko Jody. Another really, really good song off this one, but and Long Last ASAP by ASAP Rocky. Um, really, really good album. As I've said for every single album on here, hence why I have the vinyl. <laughs> Good album. Um, a lot of songs here that like I've been listening to for like, like I'll listen to like one or two songs 
that I'll be obsessed with like over time. It's like it used to be, um, uh, I used to be obsessed with Wavy Bone and Lord Pretty Fucker Jody as well as Jukebox joints. And then now I'm kind of listening to like Fine Wine, Electric Body, uh, Far Side and Max B. So yeah, um, overall, this is probably, now I'm, I'm gonna say it now. This is Fantano's worst take by far. He gave this album a five, which I'm gonna put right here. And then I think that the best songs on this album sort of stand in the shadow of Rocky's previous two projects. As of right now, I'm, I'm feeling a light five on this thing. And that was a terrible choice because this album is really good and Fantano is stupid in rating it and I hate him for that. Better than a five and a really, really good album. Thank you, ASAP Rocky. This might be your best, probably, but not probably because the one before that with Trilla on it is the best one, in my opinion. And lastly is the first vinyl that I ever got, which is this guy by XXX. Um, I kind of just listened to this album, uh, like, as one of the first piece of music that I listened to, which is why I got it. It's like, um, like trying a, um, something for the first time and then you like that thing, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, Infinity 888 with Joy Badass. Um, still one of my favorite songs to this day because it's goaded. Um, and he's going to take every disease in the world so the world won't have more diseases. You feel me? Because that's how cool he is. Um, as far as favorite songs, I mean, I don't really listen to it that much anymore, but I mean, Infinity 888 obviously going down. Uh, Smash with Candy Rock is okay. Um, Schizophrenia, another like workout one. So a lot of these are like kind of like like sad, depressed music, and might be sad when you can be happy and enjoying life in all of its glory. So, yeah, the OG, um, good album, yeah. So that's my final, my, my blah, 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 blah. vinyl collection. As far as my favorite one goes, I mean, I think I've already said it so far. It's the Forever Story. Um, just one of the best albums I've ever laid my ears on. I think every single song off of it is perfect. But yeah, so that's my vinyl collection. If you like this video, then uh, please check out my other stuff, like my shorts, where I post my super sexy pump pics. Um, and other YouTube videos that I have as well. So without further ado, um, if you enjoyed, like and subscribe because I'm, I'm a funny guy. Well, why wouldn't you? And then uh, I'll see you in the next one.